our environment. So in this chapter, our environment, we are going to discuss about the various issues that are connected to the environment. So we know different things about our environment. Most importantly, we notice that there are so many changes happening in the environment. So which are affecting our life. We learn about all this in the news, newspapers. We learn that there are some changes in the environment which are affecting the life of people, which are affecting the life of other organisms, other animals. The diversity is affected. So what is environment? It is a combination of various things. Environment is nothing but your surroundings, which is made up of different things, different components. Your environment consists of physical components. Your environment consists of biological components biotic components. So all these components are interacting with each other and they have a natural setup, natural cycles called as biogeocycles. By which the materials present in one form or one component is transferred to another component Again, it will reach back to the original component. In this way, the minerals are exchanged. The chemicals are exchanged between the earth and the surroundings. So this is all happens naturally. So naturally, there will be some changes in the environment. And naturally, the changes or the cycling of materials takes place in a natural process. But that is by the human intervention. That is by the aggressive human activities towards the process of development. We are doing so many activities which are disturbing these cycles. What are they? Biogeo cycles. So what it causes? This disturbance, it causes mainly one thing in the environment that is pollution. Pollution means the natural state of a component is disturbed. The natural composition of air is disturbed. We are adding so many useless, poisonous gases into the air, air pollution. That means we are disturbing the natural percentages, natural composition, natural balance of that particular component. What is that component? Air. We are doing it by various activities, burning a lot of fossil fuels in the vehicles, running so many factories to produce the goods. By all these ways, we are generating a lot of poisonous gases or waste gases into the air. We are releasing all these gases into the air. So the air is said to be polluted. When it is said to be polluted, when the unwanted substances are present in it, then the normal levels which it is having, you can call it as it is polluted. So this kind of pollution, disturbance to the environment is being created. So it affects the life of people, it affects the crops, it affects the animals, it affects the human beings, health. Everything is affected by this. And it leads to so many major problems. The pollution leads to global warming. Global warming leads to increase in temperatures. It leads to melting of ice caps, depletion of ozone, high radiation, crop shifting. So many kind of consequences are linked up to this changes in the environment. But as I told you, there are some changes in the environment which are naturally run by these bio cycles. But these cycles are disturbed by our intervention. Now we are going to see how the human intervention, how the human activities are influencing the environment and what are its consequences. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.